I'll be honest, I, um, I almost skipped out on my accountabilities today. Um, right when I woke up, I was like, you know what, man, I'm just gonna, let's just skip it. Nobody knows except for myself. Let's just skip it. Um, and then we'll do it tomorrow. But here I am, you know, uh, creating the habit. I just can't do it. I just can't be stopped. So first thing on the list is, uh, the hymns. So let's just do that because the sooner we get the hymns in my head, the better. Cause, um, I don't want to be working out and doing activities and stuff. So <clears throat> all I did was, uh, take a piss and, um, drink some water. Um, Hopefully I don't have to take a shit while I'm on the air here, but uh, let's do the hymns. It's just my daily four sprays, and this bottle is almost over. I'm trying to look. Yeah, this is, I might have a couple of days left on this bottle, then we're going to have to move on to my fresh one here. So let's just do my four sprays. So one, two, three, and then the final for kind of right here the spray is uh, some people would do droplets hey that's my cat saying good morning what up buddy he's just saying hi no big deal so now i gotta spread this in and i'm really lacking on the uh progression video here i think uh what was it i think the first time i started making these entries on YouTube about my balding was I think in July so we're coming up on a year and then we updated in uh, October and to be fair I don't think I've cut the top of my hair since I first started doing um, these videos so that's why I kind of want to cut the top maybe I'll do two I'll do one update with my with my longer hair right now and then I'll do another uh, update. I'm going to try not to shampoo. I think that's my thing. Yesterday, after I took a shower, my, my wife looked at me and, uh, I was like, it looks good. And this is like right fresh from the shower. My hair is just super wet and most vulnerable, not done. And so my only excuse was, oh, I didn't shampoo, but, uh, we'll see here. We'll see. So we got them, we got the hymns in. And hopefully it'll seep in. It's really about to, it's about getting it in the scalp. It's not the hair. You know, let's wash my hands. Let me change my mouth. A minor. Maybe, uh, okay, that's one thing off the list that I need to do. Um, the air purifier. Let's turn off the air purifier. And, uh, what is going on? What should we, what should we be doing? Oh, yeah, I just felt my, man, it's a beautiful day. Let's get some fresh air. Let's get a... Ah, nothing like that fresh air in the morning before it is plagued by um, the 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 pollution of cars. <laughs> oh, I really value fresh air here in California. It's pretty fresh. Okay, do I want to put socks on now, or do I want to like work out a little bit barefoot without them? Oh, do you guys hear that? That's a street cleaner. I actually think the street cleaner is one of the most useless jobs ever. That thing never, nobody ever says, thank God the street cleaner drove by and now, and now everything's nice and fresh. Nope, that never happens. Where the hell, where the hell are my pants? Huh. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, 
guess I'm wearing shorts. Second thing on the list to do is um, my allergy meds, so we should do that. Where the hell are my pants, though? Was I, have I just been... Because I came home, I had pants, and now I'm like... I was wearing them around. And I'm like, where did they go? Because they're not in laundry. Ugh, rats. My shirts are here and all this. Huh, that's kind of... Kind of interesting. They'll turn up somewhere, I hope. Let me see. There's one place that I want to check. Maybe they're here. Those are shorts. Those are pants as well. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Now, what is this? Submarine shirt. <clears throat> My white belt is falling over. That's the only thing that I don't like about doing these on-the-go podcasts is that I do kind of get sidetracked with my reality. And it's hard to just, like, have my thoughts. And that's what's most... Oh, there's my pants. What the hell are they doing here? I have no... I don't remember at all throwing them over here. But maybe it's just a sign that I should be wearing shorts instead of pants. Because it it is going to be the hottest day of the week right here. We're talking 86 degrees. You know what I wanted to do last night? I wanted to skateboard. Um, But just, you know, just a little, uh, how do I say, Uh, uh, cruising. I just wanted to cruise around the block. But then right when I was about to head out the door, my friend Tim asked me if I was ready to play some games. Open, that's my alarm. (sighs) Forgot to turn that off. What is this? (sighs) BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. Even some water for the animals. I could listen here and this thing's off. So I put coffee at the end of my list as well. But a question mark next to it. Because one, we're running out of coffee. And two... Just trying to weigh off the caffeine, you know? Just trying to weigh off the caffeine. And I know I have 30 pull-ups, so let's just do... Let's do the five right here. I want to do five real real good slow ones. I want to have a good pull-up form here. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. That's five pull-ups right there. All right, let's grab this accountability uh, thing here. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, It's really motivating, and I hope I am motivating you to get your life together. There's a lot that needs to be done in this world, and nothing's going to get done if we just stand around and wait for things to happen to us, you know? So five, so, oh no, no, no. So five. On the list here, we have uh, 30 pull-ups, 50 push-ups, a minute plank, and hopefully we get some stretching time in. We did the hymns, and now we need to do the allergy pill. Hopefully, it's not too bad today. I'm kind of struggling with the wheeze cough, but... uh, And a little bit of runny nose, but it's it's like a little bit of everything. It's not like... uh, I'm dying, and something's really bad. I can't breathe. I can breathe. I'm not plugged up, and my sinuses are not a total, you know, bogus. And I don't know what we're going to eat. I don't know if we're going to eat anything, which is good for you guys, so you guys just aren't listening to me eat. But um, 
Text my parents. Um, what was it? Let's do another five pull-ups. But, uh, oh yeah, I ate like shit yesterday. I had a, a, I guess you could call it a small dinner. I had a grilled cheese. I don't know how many calories that is. And then I had a bag of chips that was 200 calories. And then I had a Hawaiian punch with it. And that was like my quote unquote dinner. But then later at around 10 PM, I think in between my dinner from like seven to 10, I had an ice cream bar, which was 140 calories and like nine grams of sugar. And then I had a soup. And then after the soup, I finished it off with another ice cream bar. And I was like, okay, this is, you know, you're doing too much. All right, five pull-ups right here. We're working our way towards 30, but, you know, I'm trying to get good reps in. I'm not trying to rush it. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Woo, that's 10. We at 10. We just got to get to 30. And then I did tell myself, uh, maybe I don't know if I'm doing it today, but I am kind of in the mood to do it now. I want to just see how many pull-ups I could just do. Try and get a max rep in. Oh, and um, just reminded me, today was supposed to be the day where I was supposed to go to uh, jury duty, and I, I went on the website to check, <clears throat> and uh, I, uh, I don't have to go. They want me to call between, like, the afternoon and whatever, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm staying home. I, you know, I was only going to show up. They wanted me to show up initially. I'm done playing these fucking games. I'm done stressing out about it. If they really wanted me. They would have been had me go off top. So fuck that. 10 pull-ups. We did two sets of five. Now let's just, I don't know. Let's just bang it out till I feel good, I guess. Till failure or whatever. 10. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 20, bitch. We need 10 more. <clears throat> Fucking foot hurts. <clears throat> Ten more. Can we do ten good reps here? That'd be an accomplishment. It's like my emails. I ordered a package, and uh, I'm waiting to get. What the fuck? What the fuck? No fucking way. as our guest judge for our first show at Wise Guys Vegas Art District? Absolutely. Would I be rather doing anything else? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it amazing that we have Louis J. Gomez, the Puerto Rican rattlesnake, as our guest judge? For our first show at Wise Guys Vegas Art District? Absolutely. So I was supposed to be a part of this comedy show, the Shock Collar Comedy, and uh, there, this guy's tagging Brian Holtzman, my favorite else? comedian ever. No. Would I like to spend the weekend there and see Brian Holtzman? That's all I ever wanted in life. Wow. I can't believe this. 
I backed out of the show. Everybody said it was stupid, this and that. And uh, yeah, here, here they go. Who's following? Who's following this? Is, are there any big comedians I know? Oh. Texting Brian Holtzman right now. I'm trying to get him on the podcast. We have All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's drink some water. Let's get these 10 pull-ups in. Get this accountability out of the way. Ooh, I feel it in my biceps. I was gripping that water bottle real nice. We just gotta do 10. Let's not overthink it. We'll just do 10 pull-ups. Oh, fucking. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, not the best form. I'll be honest, not the best form. I didn't fully extend my elbows on the way down. That's why I was going so fast. But hey, I didn't say on the accountability list that I needed, you know. I did it backwards too. I was supposed to do the push-ups first. How long have we, how long have we been doing this? Let's do my 50 push-ups and see how long we've been doing this. All right, let's go right here, right on the fucking wooden floor. Who gives a shit? Ugh. Let's just stand in push-up position a little bit, kind of get ready for it. Guys, I, was, I had a dream last night, and I kind of forgot, and it was kind of coming back to me, and as it was coming back to me, I was like, oh, it's not important. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, nice. Okay. Let's make it 20. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. I had something to say, but I forgot. I don't know if we'll have some time to skateboard. I told myself, oh yeah, maybe we'll skateboard to kind of stretch it out. But, uh, not stretch it out, but skateboard to like warm up. And, uh, <laughs> I feel warmed up, man. I feel warmed up. I don't think I need to step on the skateboard to warm up. That's just me. We're at 20, right? Not even halfway there yet. We're close. <sighs> All right, let's do some more. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> Dude, I remember what happened. Uh, I fell. I think it's been about a week and a half since I fell. And um, I remember it was kind of hurting to do some push-ups. And uh, yeah, I feel better. I feel better. It doesn't hurt like at all. It's like I never fell. And that's that's great. I just still have this cut on my, this cut on my uh, uh, knee. All right, 20 more, and then I guess I'll drink some water. So let's go. And then all I have to do is a one minute plank and then uh, stretch it out a bit. I feel my lower back a little tense. All right, 20, pu 20 push ups. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
All right, I held myself accountable to 50 push-ups, and I did it. Did the allergy pill, did the 50 pull-ups, or 30 pull-ups, 50 push-ups. All I got left, hear that breathing? It's me making my body work. Mm. All right, still one minute plank here. Great. <sighs> BBL Jersey. Baby, I just do. All right. It's one minute, one minute plank here. Timer ready here, bitch. Where's the timer at? Where's the timer at? Stopwatch. All right, assume the plank position. Ready, set, go. One minute of silence. Uh, I mean, I'll try to talk a little bit of shit, but we're already we're already ten seconds in, and I kind of feel like, oh fuck, it's hard to my stomach can't move. <sighs> just breathe, just breathe. Just, uh, <sighs> Twenty seconds in. Ugh. It's just a plank. It's just a plank. We used to do this all the time in high school. We used to plank halfway there, bitch. Yeah. 40 seconds. 20 more seconds of this. God damn it. I can't die. I can't. Oh, I love it. 15 seconds left, you fucking idiot. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Come on. Straighten out. Just fucking do it. Just don't, don't be gay. God damn it. All right. We did it. One minute plank. I yelled out something kind of controversial there. I was like, don't be gay. And, you know, I, I don't know if I told the podcast this, but I realized, you know, everybody likes to call things gay. People get all upset. You shouldn't call things gay. You know, all the gay people get angry. But I just realized, you know, just replace the word gay with corny. And you know, sometimes being being gay, like one of the most important things about being gay is just being corny. It's just like... You know, you could paint your nails black is the example that I tend to use. It's like, you can paint your nails black and maybe it's not gay, but it's still fucking corny. And chances are, if you paint your nails, you are gay. So it's just, I can't, I just think it's real fucking corny if you're going to take yourself to fucking Claire's or whatever. Drive your way all the way down there to fucking get your nose pierced. You know, me... 
I, I have too much integrity, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even get in the car to begin with to get my nose pierced. That's just what I'm trying to say. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. You know? Uh, all right, we did the workouts. All we got to do is uh, uh, stretch a little bit. I was supposed to do uh, stand-up yesterday, but I decided not to. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I, uh, um, I don't regret it, though, because I felt like I got a lot of good rest. So I don't know. But I do have a lot of like new jokes that I want to try. But it's like, who cares? These stra- these are strangers. People don't care as much as I do. So, okay. So all I really got to do is stretch, and I got a coffee. Uh, I got a question mark next next to coffee. Do I want to have some coffee? Let's see how much we got left. Let's see if this is like worth it. Drink some water. What do I mean by stretching? You know, oh, I'm stretching out right now. I'm- Doing these uh these leg lifts. Oh. oh yeah. All right, let's see this coffee here. We definitely have some. We definitely could use this, no problem. BB uh Jersey. Everybody's got that song stuck in their head. Uh, uh, Same old, guys. Same old. Nothing much that I really wanted to talk about. That's like burning my mind. I don't know what's going on in the world. I know they're protesting at colleges and stuff, and Jerry Seinfeld went out. I, I heard about that. This election, I don't know, man. It's really this is one of those weird times where it's just really easy to fucking tune out. Um, at least in my life, you know, I don't live in a household where people are run by politics or anything, you know. And I was lucky growing up; we didn't care too much about that. We just, you know, we just went to work. We did what we did, and we were all right with getting what we got. I gotta blow my nose. I forgot this door was open. (sighs) Sometimes I think of like when I have to blow my nose and it's hella loud, it's kind of like, oh, I got a V8. My pipes need to be fucking cleaned out or something. Oh, yeah, my check engine light was on. I don't know if I went over that within the last couple of episodes. I think I did. I think I vaguely went over it. My check engine light is on, so there we go with car problems again. But I think it was gone. I think it went away yesterday. So I think we're in the clear and we're all right. <sighs> Maybe I'll uh, brush my teeth before I have some coffee. I don't know how backwards that sounds, but let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck. Drop this Q-tip. Why does it smell like shit in here? All right. BBL Jersey. Yeah, I see my hair. I see the. Uh, I see the bald spots or the thinning parts. It's not completely bald, but I see the thinning, and I just see my hair is just grown over it but maybe I'm being hard on myself I don't know I really don't know all right there's no ads today so this uh, podcast is brought to you by Colgate and uh, Oral B Gotta get the toothbrushing in. I don't feel like I need coffee. I really don't. And I have energy drinks just in case I feel like I, I'm falling off and I need it.
Ugh. While I'm at it, let me get a charger. Let me charge my AirPods. Those things are dying. Mm I think I got a dentist appointment tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, next week. So, we gotta get the teeth just ready, gotta make sure there's nothing wrong. Alright. I do need a toothbrush with the brush heads are kind of worn out on this. Real interesting stuff. Real interesting stuff I know everybody's excited about listening to <clears throat> this water smells kind of dirty or it's just me it's just my upper lip how water smelled like soil all right we brushed the teeth we uh do I want a coffee? Do I want to make a snack? Do I want to eat something? I don't know. I don't know. I want to do like a lap around my neighborhood, honestly. And a skateboard. Maybe I'll have time. Who knows? Who knows? If I want to go, I got to go kind of around right now, but it's like, do you want coffee? Do you want, you know? Oh. Oh. Drink some water. Let's get some socks on. BB Andrews. I don't think my cat even got his food yet. It's around, uh, I don't know how many, how much more time he needs, maybe like 10 minutes or less until his food comes out. And then once he gets his food, he's going to get some outside time. And then, yeah. BBL Jersey. Let me fluff this pillow up. You just see the indentation of my fucking head here. It's ridiculous. All right, let's get some socks on. I got a like a bunion or something that's kind of hurting my toe. Oh, and after I put the socks, let's weigh myself. I I've, I've got to be less than I've got to be less than 140. I think I'm like 136. That's probably Well, I've got all these clothes on. It's probably These clothes are probably just like a pound. 2 pounds maybe. Ugh. But let's see. Kind of been slimming down just slightly. Okay, 
Let's see, what am I at? 136 and a half with all my with my clothes on, so pretty good. Pretty good. Waiting for your food, buddy. You're waiting for your food. It's gonna come out real soon, okay? And hey, Jeeks. You've got like uh, you just got a couple of minutes. Let's finish this water. Finish your water bottle. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, I do feel like I don't need coffee. There's a skater. Uh, what the hell is his name? Slappy Reds or Ace, some Ace Patelka, and he's just very. Yeah, I don't do coffee, man. I just I got I get a lot of anxiety. <sighs> yeah, maybe just like a coffee and a banana. Something small, something not too crazy, guys. Just a co I think I can afford a coffee and a banana, and I think that's good for me. Get the metabolism going. Let's eat that. I, I've been eating pretty good. I had a smoothie yesterday. I had a lot of stuff. BBL Drizzy. <laughs> First sneeze of the day. Hopefully one of the last. You're listening to Power 88 FM. The power in your pocket. Radio the way you remember. Playing the greatest 80s and 90s music. That's the mug I'm holding on to right now. All right, let's let's pour some coffee. Let's uh, let's feel my addiction. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. Ooh, yeah. How many coffees we can make with this? Maybe like two, three, if you're. Uh, Three, if you're conservative with it. We're running out of coffee. I don't even know when's the next time I'm getting paid. I don't even know if it's this week, next week. I don't know what's going on. Must be nice to just not even be keeping track of how much money you're making, right? Uh, uh, I got offered a deal to work from home. Uh, some under the table type shit. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see. He was like, You want it a month or a year? I was like, I have options to make it monthly? Let's do a little six ounce because I never finish coffee. With that, oh, with that sweet Italian cream. Man, there I go, brushing my teeth. And then just jumping into coffee. It's a little weird, huh? But whatever. Let's eat this banana. BBL Jazzy. BBL Jazzy. Oh, my cat should be getting his food real soon. Real soon. What time is it? 7.30. Mm-hmm. Mm. Here goes the coffee. Let it drip a little bit. Make sure everything gets in there. Mm-hmm. That's a drip. Drip, drip, drip. Dude, remember Tory Lanez? He had a fucking run right when COVID started. And then, and then what? He went to jail. It's real crazy. Ooh, I was going to throw this in the compost, but I realized that um, the compost is... Uh, the compost where I live only comes out 
uh, um, how do I say? They take it only uh, uh, once every two weeks. They're gonna change that soon. But um, for now, we're just, I'm talking about my local trash. Nobody knows like how this shit works. I don't know what part of the world you're from and how they take out the trash, but here in America, I think it's, I think it's all right. Um, but when I start, I'm talking about the compost and all that stuff and how they do it. I think my dad was like, yeah, that's how they do it in Europe. And you know, when you think of Europe, you think of what the black plague. So I don't know if like Europe has good sanitation, um, in their cities and their streets or not. Uh, I really don't know. Okay. What foods do I have here? Do we have bagels? We still have bagels, I think. How many bagels do we have left? We've got three bagels. Yeah, I'm going to eat a bagel. Not right now. Later. When I get off the podcast, we're going to have a bagel. We're going to have some turkey bacon. And then um, maybe a yogurt or something. I don't know. Well, guys, um, that first sip feeling is coming up. So everybody just get prepared. If you're drinking coffee or anything, get your get your first sip feelings ready. Wow, we're 40 minutes into the podcast. 40, coming up on 42 minutes here. Oh, my cat got his food. Oh, yeah. Good job, Benny. My cat be starving. You've been waiting for this all day, huh? I just relax. Then he's possibly going to get some outside time. Okay, that first sip feeling, everybody. I eyeballed some creamer in there. <clears throat> Ooh. Let's bring one of these. BBL Drizzy, BBL Drizzy. First of feeling, guys, I've got it up to me. I'm gonna finish this by the banana. Are you guys ready? Salud, cheers to everybody around the world who is also facing addiction uh, from that first sip feeling. We're battling the battle with you. Wow, I smelled that coffee and it did not smell that good. All right, here we go, guys. Mm. That's good. Tastes way better than it smells. Wow, that was cool. Nice, nice, nice. You know, uh, uh, I was going to say something about coffee. You know, I feel like I enjoy coffee just like how some people like to enjoy alcohol in terms of uh, just tasting it. You know, I don't want to just sit here and just gulp the coffee down. I know some people do. I got to get my energy in. But, uh, mm. ah, yeah, right here, man. Ah, just, ah, great. I don't regret it. It just, it does make me feel a little bit more present in the moment. So we did about 40 minutes of me not having coffee. And, you know, we're just working out. I was doing things, but now I just feel, I mean, it's just that first sip feeling, but it feels instantaneously in my fucking bloodstream. 136 with some clothes on. I, I feel pretty good about that. Um, I didn't feel so good at 140. But I think I was just getting fat 140. Maybe if I could be a 140 strong, that'd be cool. Uh, my um, my Facebook algorithm has been su- um, suggesting a lot of reels, if that's what you call or shorts, whatever you call them on Facebook, of people bench pressing. And uh, it really wants me to kind of like get back into it. Uh, maybe how many years ago? I don't know, five, six years ago. It was always kind of a goal of mine, uh, working out that I wanted to bench press two plates, 225. 
I've never done it. I've, uh, I've only attempted it once. I clearly wasn't ready. I don't even know if it was a 225 that I was attempting that I failed. I think it was like a plate and a 35 because a plate's 45. Um, I don't know, but I still think there's hope. I still think there's a chance in my life I could be like 40. Bench in 225, I could work my way up to it, so. Uh, I don't know. That's something that I uh, want to achieve, but I don't have access to a bench press. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Mm. This banana and coffee are working my metabolism. I do feel a shit brewing up. And I did feel a shit brewing up when I first woke up. Let's not forget that. So I'm glad I'm eating light. <clears throat> I'm just listening to my body, you know? Is it possible to, to bench 225 if you're only 135 pounds? Let's Google that. Is it possible to bench 225 at 135 pounds? Now, I feel like if you're like a, you know, you're into this shit, you're into like powerlifting, bodylifting, and all that stuff. Uh, I feel like a lot of people, yeah, 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 wow, wow, wow. AI overview. Yes, it's possible to bench 225 at 135 pounds. According to Outlift, 72% of men bench 135 to 224 pounds after three years of lifting weights. And 16 can bench, 16% 16 can bench 225. It's possible. It's possible. <sighs> Yeah. BBL Jazim. Tuesday, today in history in 1973. Oh. That was a smelly fucking fart. Good thing I'm not eating much. Jesus Christ. I really want to skate, dude. I want to be able to do a tray flip, bench 225. Do 30 pull-ups in a row. These are these are real goals, everybody. These are real goals. Let's have some more coffee. Mm. Don't know if I'm gonna have time to skate around. BBL Jersey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have this banana peel that I'm holding on to, but this is what attracts the flies. So part of me wants to just like skate around and throw it somewhere else, right? Do I have time? What time is it? I don't have time. Ugh. I guess it's just going in the garbage. What the hell is that? Why is it in there? I don't know what's going on in my life. These are my recyclables right here. Puh, puh. Fucking banana. Took a banana. Maybe I should um, 
take these last vitamins. Mm. I'm going to save the vitamins because I only have uh, two vitamins left. I'm going to save them for another time. And uh, we'll just keep enjoying this coffee. <sighs> Forgetting I'm like podcasting, guys. I'm sorry, but you know, you get what you get. And now my cat's enjoying his outside time. You had your food, buddy. Huh? I had this door open for you. You should have been hanging out before you got your food. Because now I gotta close this. <sighs> Maybe we'll skate at another location or something. I don't know. We'll see here. What the hell? What hat? Whose hat is this? BBO Jersey. Mm hmm, Jersey. It's a lot of hats. There's a lot of hats here. Oh well. Let's try these on. Benny. Come on. How do I tell my cat nicely that he's got to go? Can't be just loitering here in the backyard like a freaking chump. I want to shave my neck. I'm going to ask my girl to shave my neck when I get home. Because my, my neck hairs are growing out. It's like I don't really need a haircut that bad. I just need a fucking trim right here, you know? Yeah, I think I'm going to trade one of these hats in. I got another one somewhere. This hat sucks. Ugh, BBL, Jersey. Benny. Gotta get out of here. Come on. My cat's afraid of big noises, so. Yes, Spooky. Come on. Come on. I gotta go. I'm gonna leave right now. Can't find a hat. That's all right finish this coffee. Should I bring it with me or just be happy with a couple of sips that I took? You guys heard it here on the podcast. I didn't really have that many sips. Mm. How much life is in this? Come on. 82. That should be good. Um... Usually I sometimes take you guys in the car with me when I go on these like adventures in the morning, but I think today <clears throat> I'm just going to end it here so I don't have to worry about my equipment, my microphones and all of that stuff. Uh, so kind of an uneventful episode. I don't think I covered anything in pop culture or anything like that. 53 minutes of me just somewhat working out and uh, doing what I got to do and just talking about my goals. So... I'll see you next time. You know, no news is good news. So, bye everybody. Um, final thoughts, closing thoughts. Uh, yeah, no news is good news, man. Uh, just It's just another day. I'm just blessed to be here uh, to keep working towards my goals. Um, and it's, did I say blessed? I don't know. I just feel, I just feel good to be doing what I want to do. And I wish I had more time to just fuck around, but that will come soon. That will come soon. I've got the rest of my life to enjoy. I got the rest of my life to work and things like that. So see you later, man. See you later. Just keep, uh, just keep taking your steps, man. No rush. It's not a race. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And that's, it's, I feel like I'm learning that. I feel like I'm still learning that it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm getting my, my cardio up. Bye, 55 minutes. See you guys later.